Ay, María. Let's start. Maybe I'll give it two minutes more for the people to join. And if you have a belt, try to take one. And also, if you have some blocks, always good to have them a belt. Okay, let's let's start. Let's come into easy pose. And your comfortable seat. Try to open the knees a little bit by widening them to the side. And then come sit on a, on a block or something higher and close your eyes, lengthen your spine and slowly inhale through the nose. And exhale fully. Inhale once more. Hold to breath. And then slowly exhale. One more inhale through the nose. Hold the breath. And an exhale. And then open your eyes. Inhale the right hand side. Grab with the left hand to the right wrist. Pull the right wrist up. Lengthen the right side. Into the torso and then gently move over towards the left side. Inhale it up. Both hands palms towards each other. And then grab with the right hand, the left wrist, pull it up, and then go slightly towards the right side. Inhale up. And then come onto your knees. And then sit onto the heels. If you want, we can take a blanket, place it behind the knees, and then sit tall. Inhale, bow around time. Take your left hand with the right wrist, and then gently pull it over towards the left side. Inhale, back to center. Right hand grabs left wrist, pull over towards the right. Inhale, release. Inhale, bow around time. And then exhale, twist left hand, goes outside right thigh, right hand behind you, along a block behind you. And then press your left shoulder blade to the 
front of your chest, getting a deeper twist. Inhale, back to center. And exhale, twist over towards the left side, right hand outside, left thigh, left hand on a block behind you, and then lengthen the spine, press the right shoulder blade to the front of the chest. Inhale, back to center. And exhale, release. Come into child's pose, although the knees are close together. And then you move the blanket, remove the block, and you come into plank pose. And then make circles around the wrists. The hips are low. The tailbone is pointing towards the heels. And the upper back is round. And then in the opposite direction. And then come into Tower Dog. Bend your right knee straight out the left. And then bend the left straight out the right. Once more, alternate, bending the right. And then once more, bending the left. Inhale, right leg high. And then make circles around the right hip, opening and closing the right knee. Right leg high. And step it forward, left leg down to the floor, lift the chest up, interlace the fingers behind the back, open the chest in the front. And let the hands go away from your seat and away from your shoulders. Inhale, put your arms up, just a second. Just a second. <laughs> Sorry for that. So right foot forwards, interlace the hands behind the back, and then lean into your front knee, lean. Let your front knee go over the ankle joints. Let the chest go forward and upwards. Let the head go up. And release. Both hands down, right fist back, coming to downward dog. Inhale, lift the left leg high. And then make circles in one direction with the left knee opening, closing the hip. Inhale, lift the left leg high, look forward between the hands, straight the left leg out behind you, and then step it forward between the hands, right the knee down, hands on top of the left thigh first. Drop the back foot, interlace the fingers behind the and then press your chest forward. Lift the head up. And release your hands down. Step your left foot back, come into downward dog. Inhale deeply. And exhale, hold to downward dog. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale once more. And exhale. Inhale, walk your feet forwards. 
coming to forward bend. Keep walking small steps. And try to get with the hands onto the floor. If not, grab the ankles and then pull yourself over with the head towards the shins. Inhale, both arms high, bend the knees. And exhale, prayer. Inhale, both arms high. And exhale, bow forward. Inhale, halfway up. Press your seat backwards, flatten the back. And then step the right foot back, left foot back, coming to downward dog. Inhale, come to plank. Exhale, chaturanga, upward dog. Exhale, downward dog. Inhale, right foot high, step it forward. And close, left step forward as well. Grab the opposite elbows, bounce up and down in the forward bend. Inhale, both arms high. And exhale. Inhale, both arms high. Exhale, bow forward. Inhale, halfway up. Left foot back, right foot back, downward dog. Inhale, come into plank. Exhale, Shaturanga, upward dog. Exhale, downward dog. Inhale, left foot high, step it forward. Right foot closes, bow forward, grab the opposite elbows, bounce up and down. If you have a block, place it in front and then try to touch the block. You can place it also like this and then try to touch the block with the, with the underarms. When you bounce up and down. Bend the knees, roll yourself up. Inhale, both arms high. And hands in prayer in front of the heart. If you have a belt, take your belt. And then bind it around the left. Well, let's do it first laying down. It's easier. Let's do the easy one first. Come onto the floor, lay the back onto the back, and then make a strap so that you can hold it on both loop sides with both hands. And then place your right foot into the strap. Lengthen the right leg, lengthen it, meaning pressing the foot towards the ceiling. Also pressing the upper thigh, the, the, the upper thigh away from the ribs, away from the belly. And at the same time, pulling the right foot a little bit more closer over to the head. And then switch. Left foot goes into the strap, right foot firmly onto the floor. Press the back of your right leg down to the floor and then press the top thigh away from the ribs, away from the chest, to the back of the hamstring, to the hamstrings, and then pull the left foot towards you. Clear your knees, pull your kneecaps up on both sides, and then pull the left leg closer. Bend the elbows, pull closer, and then release. Step your right foot once more in, side loop, left leg onto the floor, press the back of your left leg into the floor strongly. And then the same thing here, top thigh away from the ribs towards the hamstrings, and then the foot over towards the head. Create space in your hip joint by pressing the top thigh away from the belly. And then grab the right uh, with the right hand the strap in both both straps and then open the right leg towards the right side. Open your gaze towards the left side. Let the belly roll from your right side over towards the left side. Open the right leg. And then lift the right leg back up. And pull the right leg once close towards your fits. Release. Step your left foot inside the strap. Straight out the right leg.
press the back knee, the back of the knee of the left knee away from the front of the left, left knee. And pull the left foot over towards the head. Press the top thigh away to the back of the hamstrings, to the back of the leg. Grab the strap with the left hand and then open the left leg. Open the right arm to the right and then look over to the right arm. Let the belly now roll from the left side over towards the right side. And come back to center. Give the strap in both hands, bend the elbows, pull the leg closer. And then release. Rock onto the spine. And then come into easy pose. And then come into downward dog. Inhale, come into plank. Exhale, Shaturanga, hold and press up. Once more, Shaturanga, hold with the chin onto the floor, just the chin, the hands and the feet. And then press up. And once more, Shaturanga, chin to the floor. And then press up. Come into downward dog. Right leg high. And step it forward. And bounce up and down. The hands are there to keep your balance, but press the back heel in towards the floor. And then lift the chest up, both arms high. And look up. Keep the back leg super straight, press the back heel towards the floor. Have a 90 degree angle in the front knee. Lift the head, look up, interlace the fingers, press the palms away, and then release. Hold hands down, step the right foot back, go into the downward dog. Inhale, left foot high, and step it forward. Keep the hands first onto the floor, bounce up and down, so that the right hip flexor gets stretched. And then keep the back leg super straight. Pull your right kneecaps up and then lift the chest up, lift the hands high. And look between your hands. Keep seated low into the left knee. Back leg is pressing to the back, back heel towards the floor. Right knee, back knee super straight. Interlace the fingers and lift the hands, palms up towards the ceiling. Both hands down, step the left foot back, come into downward dog. And then walk your feet towards your hands, come into forward bend, grab the opposite ankles, and then bow over. Bend your knees. And then roll yourself up. Inhale, both arms high. And exhale, prayer. Inhale, both arms high. Exhale, bow forward. Inhale, halfway up. Place your hands, prepare to jump into Chaturanga. Chaturanga, up or dog. Exhale, downward dog. Inhale, right leg high, step it forward, left leg closes, bow forward, grab the ankles, pull yourself over. Inhale, both arms high, and exhale, prayer. Inhale, both arms high, exhale, bow forward. Inhale, halfway up, and jump backwards into plank, Chaturanga, upward dog. Exhale, downward dog. Open the knees left and right, look between the hands and then jump. And bow forward, grab the ankles, pull you over into forward bend. Inhale, both arms high. Exhale, prayer. Inhale, both arms high. Exhale, bow forward. Inhale, halfway up. Prepare to jump. Chaturanga, upward dog. Exhale, downward dog. 
Open your knees, left and right, look forward, jump. Grab the ankles, pull yourself over. Inhale, lower arms high. Exhale, prayer. Two more, inhale, lower arms high. Exhale, up forward. Place your hands, bend the knees, jump. Chaturanga. Inhale, up. Exhale, downward. Over. Open your knees, left and right, look forward, jump. Bow forward. Inhale, both arms high. And prayer. One more. Inhale, both arms high. Exhale, bow forward. Grab the ankles, pull yourself over. Raise the hands, jump. Shaturanga. Inhale, up. Exhale, down. Open the knees, left and right. Look between the hands, jump. Grab the ankles, pull yourself over. Inhale, both arms high. And exhale, prayer. Woo! Inhale, both arms high. Bend the knees, touch the floor with Katasana. Take a block or a blanket and stand with the heels on the, on that something that is higher. Interlace all the fingers except of the index and the thumb. The thumb is crossing, index is close together. Arms high. Squeeze your ears together and then bend the knees, go straight down. So your torso is parallel to the side of the room and then lift up. Inhale once more, down. Sit onto your calves and then press up. One more time. Do it slow. Keep the hands high. And then lift up. And then come once more down into Utkatasana. The hips, same height as the knees. And then prayer twist towards the right. Left elbow outside, right knee. And then twist the torso back to center. Put arms high. And prayer twist towards the left. Right elbow outside, left knee. And twist. Inhale back to center and both hands down. Step your left foot back, right foot back. Come into downward dog. Remove your blocks. Inhale, come into plank. Shaturanga, upward dog. Exhale, downward dog. Inhale, right leg high. Step it forward. Come into warrior one. Go through the front knee a little deeper so that the front leg is 90 degrees. Lengthen the spine, squeeze the ears towards the skull with the inside of the arms. And then lean forward. Keep the hands pointing forward. Lift the left leg high. Warrior V. And lift the hands away from the floor. Lift the left leg away from the floor, suck your belly in, hold, and then hands down, left foot next to the right, coming to forward bend, grab the opposite elbows, and bounce up and down, inhale, both arms high, and prayer. Take once more your blocks, place them onto the, onto the mat, come with the heels onto the blocks, Inhale, both arms high. Interlace the four fingers except of the index finger, the three fingers actually. And then go down into Utkatasana. Sit low. Prayer twist towards the left. Right elbow outside the left knee. Twist the torso. Back to center, both arms high. And prayer twist to the left, the right side. Left elbow outside, right knee, and then twist the torso. Back to center. And then both hands down, step your left foot back, right foot back, come into downward dog. Remove the blocks, come into plank, chaturanga, up or dog, exhale, downward dog. Inhale, left foot high, step it forward, come into warrior one. 
Put arms high, bend the front knee, straight the back leg. And hold. Press the back heel towards the floor, straighten the right knee. And then lean forward over the left thigh, lift the right leg, lift, 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 both arms. Suck the belly in, lift the right leg, lift the arms, lift the right leg, lift the arms. And then both hands down, step your right foot next to the left. Grab the opposite elbows, arms up and down. Bend the knees and roll yourself up, both arms high. And release the hands in front of the heart, prayer. <sighs> Inhale, both arms high. Exhale, bow forward. Halfway up. And then jump backwards into plank, chaturanga, upward dog. Exhale, downward dog. And then come onto the right hand, center line, outside edge of the right foot, center line of the mat. Stack your left foot on top of the right, left hand goes high. Pashistasana, plank, side plank. Hold, press your right hip away from the floor. And then release, belly faces the floor. Chaturanga, upward dog. Exhale, downward dog. Fashistasana on the left side, left hand, left foot. Right foot stacked on top of the left, right hand high. Press your left hip away from the floor. Both arms high. Hold. Keep pressing your left hip away from the floor. And then bring your right hand back onto the floor. Shift Ranga. Upward dog. Exhale, downward dog. Open the knees, left the right, go between your hands and jump. Bow forward, grab the ankles, pull yourself over the shins. Inhale, pull arms high. And exhale, prayer. One more time, inhale, pull arms high. Exhale, bow forward. Inhale, halfway up. Jump back. Chaturanga. Upward dog. Exhale, downward dog. Washi Stasana on the right side once more. If you want, you can stay here. Basic pose. Or you can try to bend your left knee, grab the big toe with two first fingers and then straight out the left leg towards the ceiling. And release. Step the left foot behind you. Step the right foot closer. Come into welting, lift the left, lift the hips up. And then belly faces the floor and kick your left leg high. Come into forward bend. And roll yourself up, inhale, pull your tongue, and exhale, prayer. Your side, inhale, pull your tongue, exhale, bow forward, inhale, half, up. prepare, jump, chaturanga, upward dog, exhale, downward dog. Bring your left hand center line, outside edge of the left foot. Also here, Vashistasana, either the standard one, basic one, or you bend your right knee, you grab the big toe with the right two first fingers, index and middle finger, and then you straight out the right leg. Release your right foot, step your right foot behind you, 
Step your left foot a little closer towards the left hand, and then lift the hips. Go with your right hand to the front. Try to catch something that is really far away. Keep lifting the hips. And then release your right hand. Belly faces the floor. And then kick up the right leg. Just a couple of times. And then come into forward bend. Grab the opposite elbows. And then bend the knees. Come into a squat. Open the hands. Open the knees with the elbows. If you don't have your heels onto the floor, take your blocks and step your heels onto the blocks. And then it's more comfortable to sit, but you can open your knees to the side with both elbows. Keep pulling, pressing. Body elbows and knees towards the sides. Lift the chest up. And release the hands onto the floor. Step the feet backwards, downward dog. And come into plank. And come into Chaturanga, laying onto the belly. Bring the left elbow onto the floor. Bend your right knee. Grab the right foot with the right hand and then draw your right heel towards your buttocks. Bekapara, Bekasana, hold. And then switch. Bring your right elbow onto the floor in front of you, bend your left knee, grab the left foot with the left hand, pull the left heel towards your buttocks. Press into your right elbow, lift the chest up. Bring the left chest more forward because it opens by the twist, by this turning, by this rotation. And then release. Come onto your heels. Come on to all fours. And then straight the left leg. No, don't straight the left leg, but keep the left knee bent, but lift your knee as high as possible. Maybe if you can lean into your right hand and the right knee, you can release your left hand and you grab the left foot. And then you press with the left foot into your hand. This is hard. Try to try to find a diagonal between the hand and the right knee. Open a little bit the left hip, but then once you have the balance, keep kicking your foot into your right hand. Lift the left knee. And release. Same on the other side. So move your left hand a little bit more to the outside of the mat, and then the left knee a little bit more to the inside of the mat, the center line, and then lift the right leg up. Keep the right knee bent, lift the right knee up. Keep the right knee bent, and then lean to your left hand, press with the upper part of your left foot into the floor, and then catch your foot with the right hand. Keep pressing into your right hand with the right foot. Go higher with the right knee. And release, come into child's pose. Open the knees left and right. And then walk both hands towards the right side. Keep your left seat onto the floor. Get a nice stretch in the left armpit and the left upper side of your torso. And 
And then walk back to center, keep moving your hands over towards the right left side. Then walk with your right hand a little bit more forward, away from the right shoulder. Keep the right seat onto the floor. Onto your heels. And then feel this intense stretch right under the right armpit. And come back to center. Come into downward dog. And walk your feet forward. Inhale, both arms high. Exhale, prayer. Inhale, both arms high. Exhale, bow forward. Inhale, halfway up. And jump into plank, chaturanga. Upward dog. Exhale, downward dog. Right foot high, step it forward. Come into warrior one. Sink deep into the front knee. Get the front thigh parallel to the floor. Back leg super straight. And I lean forward. Place both hands onto the floor, but now keep the right hand only onto the floor and then open your left shoulder. Open the left thigh, go with the left hand towards the ceiling. Half moon, Ardha Chandrasana. Point the back foot, back toes. And then come back Bow forward. Go with the hands to the side of the right foot and standing split. And then release the left foot next to the right. Come into forward bend, grab the ankles, pull yourself over. Inhale, both arms high. And exhale, prayer. Inhale, both arms high. Exhale, bow forward. Inhale, halfway up. Jump back to plank, shut rung up, upward dog. Exhale, downward dog. Inhale, left foot high, step it forward, warrior one. Go deeper into the front knee. Get the front thigh, the left thigh parallel to the floor. Back leg super straight, arms up. And then lean forward, go with both hands onto the floor. And then keep the left hand onto the floor. Open your right shoulder. Open the right thigh by pointing your toes towards the side of the room. And then lift the right arm up, straight up. Point the back toes. And then both hands down. Go with the hands on the side of the left foot and then lift the right leg high. Standing split, right leg down. Grab the opposite elbows. And bend your knees roll yourself up. Inhale, both arms high. And prayer. Relax your breath. Inhale, both arms high. Exhale, bow forward. Jump. Shaturanga. Up or up. Exhale, lower up. Inhale, right leg high. Step it forward. Come into warrior one. And now hook your left arm over the right knee. Now place your hand onto the floor or onto a block, but your elbow or your left arm touches the outside of the right leg, outside of the right knee. And then lift the right leg high, right arm high. Let the belly crawl over your right thigh. Bend the front knee, hold. Relax your mind. And release both hands down. Step the right foot back. Come into downward dog. Inhale, left foot high. Step it forward. Warrior one. Also, here we go with the right arm over to the outside of the right, left knee. Up. You place your right hand onto the floor. 
Find a cross with the left knee and the right upper arm. And then lift the left arm high. Roll your belly over the inside of the left thigh. And then look up. Straight back leg. Relax your mind. And then look down, release both hands either side of the front foot, step or front foot back into downward dog. And then open the knees left and right and jump forward. Come sitting. And then come sitting on a block if you have one. And then bring the right knee up. Right heel close to your right buttocks. Open the left leg just slightly away from the midline of your mat. Inhale, both arms high. And then hook your left arm over the right knee. Press with the left elbow against the outside of the right knee and then twist the torso. Lift the spine and twist. Inhale and exhale, twist. Inhale once more. And exhale, twist. Inhale once more, looking forward more. And exhale, twist deeper. Look over your right shoulder behind you. Lift the right arm parallel to the floor. Press into this imaginary wall behind you, lengthening the right arm away from the center of your body. And release. Straight out the right leg. Right leg a little away from the midline. And then bring your left heel closer to your left buttocks. Inhale, both arms high. And hook your left arm, right arm over your left leg, sorry. Right arm over the left leg. Lengthen the spine and twist. The twist comes from two things, from the exhale and from pressing the elbow into the outside of the left knee. But it's at the exhale we twist. Inhale, you release. Exhale, twist. Look over the left shoulder behind you. Inhale, release. Exhale, twist. All the twist. Lift the left arm parallel to the floor. Keep pressing your right elbow into your left knee. And twist. Lift the spine up. And release. Straight both legs out. Remove the block. And then come onto your hands and knees. Come onto the knees. Tuck your toes under. And then sit onto your heels. Sit onto your calves. Place your hands already on your heels, like that, behind you. And then keep pressing your hips up and forward, head up, head between the shoulders, and come back sitting onto the calves, release, and once more, lifting the hips forward first, Press the hips away from the heels. Let the head sink between the shoulders. Look behind you. And then release. Place the hands onto the floor. Tuck the toes under. Go into downward dog. Open the knees left and right and come into the child's pose. Bring the hands in front. Come onto the hands and knees, come onto the knees only. Take a block or a blanket, place it between the ankles behind you and then sit onto the block. If you have a belt, take the belt and bind it around the thighs, 
So the belt goes in front of the shins and over the top thighs. And you gently close it, not too strong, not too light. And then bring the big toes closer together, but keep the heels on the outside of the hips. And then remove the block, come a little deeper with the seat towards the floor. Place the hands onto the soles of the feet, come onto the elbows. And then if you, if you want to stay here, you can stay here. If you feel you're still flexible, you can try to come onto the shoulder blades, touching the floor behind you. When the knees lift up, press the knees back to the floor once the shoulders are touching the floor. Keep squeezing the knees away from your hip joints. Lengthening the upper thigh. Inhale, hook your thumbs, bring the arms over the head, relax the belly, relax the lower back. Try to sink in between your heels, lengthen the arms. And then hook the other thumb, arms over the head, lengthen the arms. Press the knees down to the floor and away from the hip. And now raise your arms, press the elbows into the floor and lift up. Remove the belt. And then come once more into the belly. Lay down. Check your hips out. Let's do once more Bekasana Ekapala on the right side. So left elbow onto the floor, right under the shoulder, and then right hand wraps the, the upper part of the, the right foot and pulls the heel towards your buttocks. It's super necessary to stretch the thighs we're going better into back bends. And there is right elbow onto the floor, under the left right shoulder, and then pull the heel towards your left buttocks. Or the, the left heel on the outside of the, of the left hip towards the floor. And there is. Bring the hands in front. Keep the feet together, keep the inside of the feet touching, and then lift the feet up, lift the hands up, press the belly into the floor, lift the feet, lift the hands, keep the feet together, lift the hands, and then it's done. Check your hips out. Bend both knees, grab both ankles with both hands, forehead onto the floor. And then lift everything up. Lift the knees up, lift the chest up. Press your feet into your hands and rock onto your belly. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, rock forward. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, release. One more time. Inhale, lift up. And exhale, release. And come to the belly. Shake your hips out. And come sitting and laying down to the back. Let's do one more preparatory for the full wheel before the full wheel. So take two blocks if you have, and then place one block flat onto the floor, and then place the other block in a T shape on top of the lower one, and let the block rest onto your sacrum. And then release, release your breath. Let the, let the pelvis be parallel to the floor so that the sacrum is pressing perpendicular into the floor. And then let your chest open. 
interlace the fingers underneath you and then let the hands or the fists go away from the shoulders. And then release your hands, remove the block, remove the second block, and then place your hands and go up. Place the crown of the head onto the floor first, and then press all the way up into the full wheel. Chin to chest to come out, and release. Straight out the left leg, bend the right knee into the chest. Interlace the fingers over the shins. Pull the right knee into the chest. And then switch left knee into the chest. Cross your fingers over the shins. Pull the knee towards the chest. And release. Prepare for the second wheel. Raise your feet close to your seat. So lift the feet up, grab the ankles with both hands, place your feet onto the floor, and then lift your hips up. Walk your shoulders towards each other. Walk your feet a little bit away so that the arms are super tense. Walk your shoulders under. Re release your hands from the ankles, place the hands next to the ears. Go to the crown of the head and into the full wheel. Chin to chest and release. Straight out right leg, left leg. Bend your right knee to the chest and switch. And then let's do one shoulder stand and then we can go into Shavasana. I'm, I'm telling you what, what comes because I know that Instagram will be kicked out rather soon. It's 51 already. And I started three minutes before the time. So let's come first into Halasana, legs over the head, arms in a V shape behind you and then cross your, interlace your fingers and press the the finger, the little pinky finger towards the floor. Walk your left shoulder under, walk the right shoulder under, and then press the knees away from the head. Relax the belly. Press the top thighs to the back thighs. The top thighs to the back towards the hamstrings. And then bring the arms over the head. Place your feet into the palms. And please bring the heads back in a V-shape behind you. And then place the hands onto the lower back. Lift the left leg, come into shoulder stand. Keep walking with the hands down towards the floor onto the back so that uh, the torso is super straight, perpendicular to the floor. Right leg down, 90 degrees, lift up, left leg down, right leg down, left leg up, left leg down, right leg up. One more time, right, one more time, left. And then release your feet back onto the floor behind you, go into a V-shape, roll onto the back, and lift up. Come sitting, legs in front of you, inhale, both arms high, and exhale, lean over, lean forward. So grab something and reach and then lengthen the spine. Lift the chest up, hollow the back instead of rounding it. And once you have this flat back, 
try to go down with a flat back all the way down. And then lift the legs, lift the arms, both poles, hold, and slowly go all the way down. Take a block, hold it in your hands, place it on the right side onto the floor. Take the block, place it on the left side onto the floor. Take the block on the line, left, right, left. Left, right, left, right, left, right, left, and right. Lower the feet, lower the head, and come into Shavasana. Open the feet left and right, open the arms in a V shape, arms facing up. And relax. Take at least five minutes of Shavasana. Thanks for joining everyone. Enjoy your Shavasana. See you on Monday. There is another class. There is also a class in um, Pure Ashtanga on Saturday from 10 till 11.30. Um, and each evening we have also some meditation um, which you can freely join. It's over Instagram, the meditation. Um, so feel free, nine o'clock each evening until the end of the month. Hope to see you somewhere. Enjoy your Shavasana. Thanks for joining. Are we? Yep. Uh, what did you say about your Ashtanga? So it's Saturday? Well, yeah, it's, um, it's um, for a closed group, Igor. Igor. You have to be a um, member of the studio. Ah, okay. Yeah. Yeah. But uh, yeah, Monday I will be there again. Uh, thanks for it. It's, uh, so I'm enjoying. Yeah, super. When I was a Yeah, nice, nice, nice. Keep coming. <laughs> See you. Bye bye.